In this video, I am so excited to be sharing with you my Gun Bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21 and I want to help you get better at this game. And so if you're looking to improve your Madden game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and we're all trying to learn here in this community together. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also if you want to know as soon as a video, a brand new video comes out, I want to encourage you to turn on your notifications. That way, uh, YouTube will let you know whenever we release a new video. All right, guys, so I am so excited to be sharing with you my shotgun bunch offensive scheme. Now, I actually just released my full bunch in and bunch tight end offensive ebook out of the Jets playbook in Madden 21. Now, there's two different versions of the ebook if you want to get it it'll be in the description the first one you can get the gun bunch which is going to be uh, just the jets gun bunch the gun bunch offensive scheme and that's going to be 15 bucks or you could get the gun bunch and the gun bunch tight end bundle which is going to be the bunch and the bunch tight end formation for 20 bucks so both of those ebooks are available in the description if you want to get a free sample of either one of those um, go ahead and shoot me a text message my number is 208-218-6900 and if you text me by using the word madden i will automatically send you a link to the playlist where you can check out both of the preview formations but i wanted to share with you a play uh, today from the gun bunch and uh, talk to you a little bit about why I love this offense so, so much. And uh, this is an easy, easy way to be able just to work the ball up and down the field. I want to share with you my, honestly, probably my personal favorite play from this offensive ebook, and that is the play Flood. Now, Flood is one of the most popular plays in Madden 21, but you might not know um, as to why that is. Well, the first reason is because it is probably the best and most simple zone beater in the entire game. Now, the adjustments we're going to be breaking down in today's video is we're actually going to take the running back on this play, and we're going to put him on a smart routed option route. We're going to put the square receiver on a square little five yard out route so the triangle receiver which is the running back is going on the option route and the square receiver is going on an out route now if they play zone this is my favorite little snap throw in the game if they play zone on the left hand side even if they have hard flats it doesn't really matter as long as there's no yellow zone which is this is what makes it so good because a lot of people like to play mabel coverage if they play zone you have a nice little read right in this little pocket right here to your running back right at the seam it's such an easy mo little quick snap throw and it makes so much uh it just makes so much value uh for your offense now let's say that they do pop a yellow zone over there so we're going to pop the 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 middle linebacker there, over there and i want to show you kind of what it looks like from there from there what you're going to notice is he's actually going to go about 10 yards so if they have their zone drop set to about five yards on their hook curls which is a very common adjustment for a lot of people you're still going to be able to throw that option route because it's going 10 yards and they're not going to have a player in that vicinity to be able to stop that now one of the other things that they might do is they might go ahead and just man up the running back and so what you'll see here and this is why this play is so glitchy and so hard to stop if they man up the running back, he's going to just do a nice little out cut. And as soon as he cuts to the outside, because you have that square out route that is pulling the zones, it's going to be able to make it, it's going to make it very difficult for your opponent to be able to stop this with a standard zone drop setup. So you see here, we man him up, but look, he cuts the outside, beats it instantly. And as you can see right there, it's an easy laser. That's all from one route in this play. That's how powerful this offense is. Now, let me show you another route um on this play and this is more for someone that is running you know kind of traditional uh mabel coverage and again remember they're going to have to use her on this side of the field with their linebacker that's kind of the whole point of the option uh route combination with that little pull route and so now what they're going to have to do is you're going to look to the right side and you're going to see that this tight end is going to pull all of the zones out of the way so essentially if the user runs to the right then you're going to throw to the left if the user runs to the left then you're going to throw to the right it's kind of that simple um, but it's actually that powerful and effective so on this play right here you'll see again that the user is going to roll uh, is going to go right which leaves nobody in that little pocket right there you can easily throw that route to the running back now you might be asking well what do i do 
uh, in a situation where they literally blitz like nobody, right? What do you do in that situation where, you know, they have the yellow on the left, they have a vertical hook now on the right side, and I want to show you kind of what you can do. So the best thing to do is to simply be patient in the pocket. But what you're going to notice here is you can hit that route as soon as it cuts. It does need to be quick and as soon as it cuts. You're not going to low ball it because if you low ball it, you're going to be throwing into a vertical. Uh, you're going to be throwing it into a vertical hook zone. But what you are going to do is you're going to pass lead it to the outside. So you see here we're going to set that play up again. And again, this is a max coverage, but it is important to understand exactly what you're getting yourself into. So right here again, max coverage on that side. And right on that cut, right on the break, we're just going to pass lead it uh, to the outside, and you can do that very nicely. Another pass lead that I want to share with you that I've been using a lot out of this offense is the pass lead down. Um, literally at 6 o'clock, as if the joyst uh, joystick was a clock, it's going to be my favorite pass lead in this entire offense. I'm just going to pass lead this down right there. You see it's going to basically tell the wide receiver to come back to the ball, and as you can see, it's going to be an easy read. Now, um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about briefly is just kind of a standard, um, you know, not a Mabel coverage, but more of just kind of a standard coverage and what that looks like. So just a standard cover three. So I want you to watch on this right side. If you watch this out route, you see it's going 15 yards and going to the outside. As you can see, it does get open very, very easily against a five yard curl flat, which is what I'm running uh, on this on this defensive uh, play call. Now, another thing I want to show you really quickly is I want to show you, I just want to force it. I might throw a pick here, so just hang with me. But I just want to show you kind of what happens to the R1 receiver when you do let him go out. Again, that low ball right in that little pocket right there. You see it gets in between the zone drops because they, most people are going to drop those flat zones back to about 15, or I'm sorry, about 25 yards. Uh, and they're going to have that curl flat uh, down at about 10 yards. That's kind of the either 10 or 5 yards is kind of the common uh, theme that you're going to see a lot of people do. So if that guy keeps drifting, you can easily low ball that and drop it right in the bucket just like that right there. Now, the next thing that you're going to notice about this offense, which is really, really cool, and I'm actually going to try to reset my zone drop so that they play match coverage, but this is actually going to do a phenomenal job against match coverage. You're going to see here that if, and it looks like I wasn't able to get the zone drops reset, so I'm just going to jump out and then jump back out here and show you. But let's say, for example, um, a lot of people are really, really running a lot of cover four uh, match type of coverage against this. So let me show you something like that. So we're going to put uh, cover four quarters in our audibles here. Uh, and then I'm going to basically be able to go into that from the 335 normal. And I want to show you what this combination is going to be able to do uh, against that. It's absolutely going to torch it. It's very difficult for the cover four match to be successful, um, especially with this combination right here. So I'm going to show you first and foremost, the circle receiver. Uh, the circle receiver will almost always be a one play touchdown. I like to pass lead him up into the inside. And I as you can see right there, it's a one-play touchdown against cover four match, cover four quarters, wide open, dot. And then the next thing I want to show you is the running back on the option route. And so the running back on the option route is actually a super glitchy route against quarters. You're going to see here that it's basically going to turn into man-to-man, -man, and that running back is going to catch him for about 15 to 20 yards down the field. So you're able to deal with the cover four quarters. You might be saying, well, Cody, I'm, this is all you know, fine and well, but how does this do against man coverage? You know, the meta is man coverage. The meta, man coverage is so hard to stop or so hard to beat consistently. How does this do against man-to-man -man coverage? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, the, it does a phenomenal job against man-to-man -man coverage. So first things first, if you are getting a lot of press man, I would recommend motioning this circle receiver to the outside. Um, and as you'll see right here, uh, that route tech on that slot or that slot receiver, you could also have slot matic on him. He's going to be able to get separation against man-to-man -man coverage. The other big thing that I wanted to hit on um, is this route to the running back. So what you'll notice here is this route to the running back. Whether they put purples out there or not, that's going to beat man coverage every single time. You don't want to low ball the. I, in my personal opinion, you don't want to low ball the option route um, because you'll see that he'll oftentimes come back to the ball. It's not what we want at all. What we want to have happen is we want it to simply be a simple option route uh, out cut. So again, you're reading your play, wait on it, and dot right there, right in front of that little purple zone. Now, if they're running the cover two. Uh, shaded underneath meta and this is why I like this place so much let's say they're running the shaded underneath meta um, what you're going to notice on this and this is why I like to use a little bit of motion to Tavon Austin if they're running a lot of man coverage 
just by motioning just a little bit. If I pass lead outside and up, you see it's going to be a nice little swerve catch. One play touchdown against shaded underneath man coverage. One play touchdown against shaded underneath man coverage. And then the last thing that I wanted to show with you as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes, if they are running a ton of man-to-man -to -man coverage, here is a nice little setup that is really glitchy against man-to-man. -man. You're going to put a drag to your tight end, and you're going to put an in route to your running back. This in route to the running back will almost always get separation against man-to-man -man coverage, and the drag to the tight end is an unbumpable route against man-to-man -man coverage. It does not always win, but it almost, it, it, number one, it is always unbumpable. It doesn't always win, but it is always unbumpable, and as you see right there, it's a nice little check down so you still have your your everything else that you had going for you but now you have a couple other quick reads so this offense is absolutely insane if you can beat every coverage from one play just think of what you can do with the whole ebook this offense is absolutely unstoppable especially when you put it together with the bunch tight end and the trips tight end offset which we are including in the bundle for you guys so if you want to get the ebooks like i said there are links in the description there's a link to the bunch tight end only if you want the bunch tight end only there's a link to the bunch only if you just want the bunch ebook and then there's also a link to the combo the individually they're both 15 bucks so 15 bucks for the bunch 15 bucks for the bunch tied in. If you want to bundle them together and get the whole game plan, that is just 20 bucks uh, and it's on sale right now in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you would like a sample of the ebook, a little bit more in-depth sample of the ebook, I have a one hour preview. All you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching, and if you want to get these offensive schemes, they are amazing and incredible, and I really believe they will be able to help you take your offense to the next level. They are fully available for you in the description of this video.